so this is unfortunately did not do a preview of what it looked like before but i kind of caught <laughs> the fact that we hadn't um vlogged beforehand so just picture a sink there and a very ugly vanity mirror so this is a really this is our powder room and it has some really nice um crown molding on there but the wall color is yellow um, those are just the shadows from the chandelier this is dated from the 90s so that's gonna go we're putting in a whole new mirror a whole new beautiful uh, marbled countertop and this is going the floor will have to be refinished because we got our floors down when we first moved in here so we have to remove this and stain that little portion in the back. The toilet is TBA. We are looking into a tankless toilet. So this may stay just for now. We did get a new um, toilet paper holder that will match the hardware. It's all gonna be brass and marble. So let me back out so you guys can see a little bit better. So this is our before, okay. So this is a little patch on the floor that we're gonna have to somehow match up. Um, this is probably the most challenging part of the whole project because putting in the sink is no big deal in painting, but this is gonna be challenging. And the reason why is that I bought a console vanity, which means the underneath is completely exposed and we are changing all the hardware. So we just got in our countertop for our bathroom i am so excited it's so pretty and then these are the matching legs so they are brass and i also got this hardware this is gonna be the spout for the sink the faucet. The faucet. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, here we are. Hubby is getting ready to um, put the poly on. We got it as close as we could. The dull side is because it is not um, treated with poly just yet, and this is the step that we are going to do. So hopefully this poly that he lays down will bump it up more to that nice, rich brown tone. Right now I'm just cutting the angles to fit the boards together in the corners. Mm -hmm. So I have my blade on an angle and I'm just gonna be cutting it. I've got my top back to the dust so I don't make a mess. Alright guys, I'm getting ready to paint this small bathroom, so I actually attached my cell phone on to the grooves of the new pendant lamp. So there's a little slot and I just stuck my phone up there. I thought it was a cool angle. So, all right, here we go. I mean, you know, what's funny is that this original color that was here is like beige. And so it looked really light, but now when you put the color white next to it, it almost looks like doo-doo brown. So, this is definitely gonna be like two coats, maybe three. So here's a good comparison of the color that was before and after. This is a really pretty color. Um, it's kind of like a putty, but at the same time, this is such a small bathroom and even just, I mean, this is as far as I got so far. I just wanted to show you guys the color before I go all the way. Um, already this room looks so much bigger just by brightening it up to white. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be so, so. Exciting. Okay, everybody, so this is the second coat of paint. It is drying, so if it looks a little wet, that is why. Um, I'm really liking the overall um, look it is so bright and it looks so much so much more spacious in here all right you guys here is the faucet already assembled and he is just tightening up some plumbing 
Um, he has to run out and get a few more of those hoses, but I'm loving it. It looks so good. I'm so excited. I love this sleek, modern um, kind of nozzle for the faucet that I picked out. Okay, sink is getting installed now. He's just tightening up all the wires. Plumbing. <laughs> Not wires, but it looks so good. So fancy. Yeah. Not much to see, guys. I'm sorry because I'm such a small bathroom, so I'm really close in, but that's what it looks like so far. Hey everybody, without further ado, here is the downstairs powder room.